Hey, hello friends. Welcome once again to another session on real numbers. So let us continue with our uh, uh, process. And so far we have discussed uh, Euclid uh, division algorithm and its application we saw in finding out its HCF or greatest common divisor that is GCD of any two positive integers. In this session, let us try and understand one more concept. And the concept is that GCD or HCF, D of any positive integers A and B, A and B can be expressed as a linear combination. Please mind these words. So linear combination of two integers, uh, two integers uh, X and Y. So hence it is written here that the GCD can be expressed as X times A plus Y times B, where X and Y are integers but this representation is also not unique so you have to uh, you have to uh, you know check that also so though we can express any gcd of any two integers as x a plus y b but you can actually express uh, in such linear combination in multiple ways so we will see what does uh, this linear combination mean first of all and then we'll try uh, to also see why is this representation not unique. So let us take an example as we have already uh, shown you uh, the method of finding out GCD. And let us now try to use those uh, examples to show that every such GCD found was or can be expressed as XA plus YB. Now linear combination is whenever you express any integer in terms of another two or another set of integers such that the powers of the two integers here can you see the power here is one so here also the power is one such such representation is called linear combination because for uh, any expression in which the variables are having power one the graphical representation is linear so the linear word comes from there and combination is we are you know uh, combining some factor or some multiples of a with some multiples of b to get d hence linear combination of two integers let us take examples and see so if you remember we had uh, two integers first was 42 and the second was 30 so and gcd of this so we learned gcd of 42 and 30 which we had figured out was 6 isn't it now 6 can be represented as some 6 can be represented as some 42x plus i'm sorry 6 can be represented as 42x plus 30y and the idea is to find the values of find the values of x and y right let us see how so 6 is 42x and 30y so let us start with our our lemma only so if you remember euclid's division lemma 42 was expressed as 42 is equal to 30 times 1 plus 12 that is how we started finding gcd so hence and then the next step was uh, 30 was equal to uh, 12 into 2 plus plus 6 and then finally 12 was equal to 6 into 2 okay so these are the three steps in which we found out the gcd of 12 and 30 uh, sorry gcd of 30 and 42 to be 6 now let us let us do back calculation backward calculation and see how we can express 6 as a linear combination of linear combination of 42 and 30 now let me say this was 1 and this was 2 so from the second last step that is a equation number 2 what you can do is you can express 6 as so 6 can be expressed as c 30 into 12 sorry 30 into 1 minus 12 into 2 isn't it this is simple manipulation so 6 is 30 into 1 minus 12 into 2 now what is what was 12 what was 12 12 was 12 can be written from here and same exp same expression can be written as 30 into 1 minus 12 i can write as 42 minus 30 into 1 into 2 why because from here if you see from here you can see 12 12 is simply nothing but 42 minus 30 into 1 
isn't it now simplify what will you get you will get 30 into 1 here the first term and then 42 into 42 into 2 42 into 2 minus 30 into sorry minus and minus will become plus here so minus minus plus 30 into 1 into 2 is 30 into 2 now what we do we club these 30 together so we get what 30 into 3 minus 42 into 2 correct now if you notice closely we could express 6 as 30 that was my b into y so this is y here so the order doesn't matter and then this is 42 and you can express this i i can write here it as plus here and then shift this minus sign here so hence it becomes 42 into minus 2 okay so what did we learn we learned that 6 can be represented as 42 into minus 2 plus 30 into 3 so this is a linear code this is called linear combination so if you saw if you saw 6 was the gcd of 42 and 30 and i expressed 6 as linear combination combination of of 42 and 30 here value of x was minus 2 and y is 3 isn't it so this was my expression into linear uh, linear combination now how do we know that it is not unique we can take a simple example itself and prove that it is not unique let us do that here so if you see 6 the same expression i'm writing here 6 into 42 into minus 2 plus 30 into 3 okay this was my linear combination can i do this operation where i'm adding 42 into 30 and subtracting 42 into 30 okay so adding and subtracting would not change the equation but this i did purposefully why now let us rearrange this term and write like this so this the same thing can be expressed as 42 into minus 2 plus 42 into 30 here and then plus 30 into 3 minus 42 into 30 now if you see i can take 42 common in the first case so if you take 42 as common you will get you will get minus 2 plus 30 isn't it and then second you take 30 as common and it is uh, 3 minus 42 and then simplifying you will get 42 into 28 28 plus or 30 30 into minus 39 so if you notice carefully i have got another set of x and y so this is x here and this is uh, let me just write both of them together so what did we found out in the first case i found out this was 42 into minus 2 plus 30 into 3 and the same 6 can be expressed as 42 into 28 plus 30 into minus 39 so if you see, if you see guys the same 6 have been expressed as same 6 has been as expressed as two linear combinations Okay, so what is the conclusion? Conclusion is, conclusion is GCD of A and B is equal to X times A plus Y times B, where X and B are integers, are integers, integers, and X and Y x and y pair is not is not unique we can get you we can get many such many such pairs this is what is meant by uh, expressing the greatest common divisor of any two positive integers as a linear combination so this is my linear combination of the integers itself linear combination linear combination i hope you 
uh, got the essence of this video and uh, thanks a lot for watching it thank you